Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Lovell, and welcome to IHSASports.org. It's March. Some great things happen in March. First of all, my birthday. Secondly, and more importantly, my grandson's birthday. And yeah, there's this thing called tournament time in Indiana. Coming up this weekend, we have great tournament action, especially right here on IHSASports.org. Make sure you join us Friday night live from Pike High School Boys Sectional Semifinals. We're going to have two great basketball games. We really know that this is an exciting time of year, and we have really enjoyed, obviously, getting to this point, bringing you these games throughout the season. We have many, many more to do, much more great action coming up. Join us Friday, live from Pike, 6 o'clock start for the semifinals and sectional basketball on the boys' side. Saturday is the big day at Lucas Oil Stadium. How about this one? It's the state championships for girls in basketball. Lucas Oil Stadium, the venue, that will be an incredible experience for everyone involved. We're looking forward to that. We have four spectacular games coming up. Frankly, this could be one of the best, if not the best, tournaments girls basketball has seen in our state. The matchups are incredible. The storylines are unbelievable coming in to these matchups on Saturday. We start the day at 1030. The single-A championship between the defending champions from Fort Wayne Canterbury and number one Vincennes Reve. Reve, one of three number one teams in action on Saturday. The second game of the morning session is a rematch of last year's 2A championship. Number one Heritage Hills, the three-time defending champions, taking on number two Oak Hill. That game was all Heritage Christian last year. Oak Hill learned a lot of valuable lessons in this. It's the fourth year, as we mentioned, for a trio of three seniors at Heritage Christian who've won a championship every year. A tremendous way to wrap up the morning session at Lucas Oil Stadium. Game one of the evening starts at 6 o'clock. Fort Wayne Elmhurst ranked number four in 3A, taking on number 10, Owen Valley. Two teams in different styles. Elmhurst likes to press and run. Owen Valley's going to have to absolutely take care of the basketball. And then on 8 o'clock or so on Saturday night, the matchup that people have talked about quite a bit this year. Number one, Ben Davis. Number two, South Bend, Washington. Washington for the third consecutive year in the championship game. This is a game of two teams ranked in the national polls. South Bend, Washington ranked number one. Ben Davis ranked number two. Nationally, reverse in the state. Tremendous ball game. Both teams undefeated. Ben Davis 29-0. South Bend, Washington 26-0. Tremendously talented young ladies on the court. If you can't get any better matchups than this, I don't know where they are. These are spectacular matchups. And again, you can watch all the action right here on IHSASports.org starting at 1030 with the single-A matchup between Canterbury and Vincennes Reve. Friday night, we know we have some great matchups in boys basketball, too, with ranked teams. As the, C as the uh, tournament progresses, these games get much, much better more important, and clearly the stakes become higher. Friday night, sectional number 25. 3A battle between number 17, North Montgomery, and number 5, Danville. Also Friday night, probably the number one game, the marquee game of the early part of the sectional. Number two and defending champs in 2A, Fort Wayne Bishop Lures, taking on number three, Bluffton. And another great matchup, single A, sectional 63, number five, Bar Reeve, number seven, North Davies. Tournament basketball, how much more can you say about it? It's great. It's what makes our... Our state so much fun this time of year. Girls' championships, boys' sectionals, and you can join us right here on hsasports.org.